Wayfront Sciences was founded on some technology that was developed at Sandia Labs um, called the Shack Hartman Wavefront Sensor. Basically, we started out as what you like to say two guys in a garage and a couple of ideas, and we grew from that. In 1996, we were fortunate to receive venture capital funding, and one of the more exciting things we did was sold our first product within 30 days of opening our doors. Right, so the light source comes out. In 1999, we built our first instrument to measure the eye. Of a ophthalmic wavefront analysis system. It's used to measure the optical path of the eye and give laser surgeons information to allow them to do a better correction when doing LASIK surgery. So we've greatly improved the efficacy and safety of LASIK by being able to make better measurements of the eye. The success of this endeavor would not be possible without the benefit of the ESTT program. The ESTT program is a leave of absence program that allows senior scientists from Sandia Labs to join a small company in the very risky early phase of development, being able to take that expertise out of the national labs and bring it for technology transfer purposes into the commercial sector. The importance of that leave of absence is, is that it gives the scientists the ability to come back to Sandia if the business fails. When you work on a national asset technology program, there's quite often things that are being done that have never been done before. The, the great benefit is that you might develop a new process, a new technology, a new measurement that is needed for this national class asset, which would never be done in any other way. And what happens is the technology that is developed on that project can be transitioned into other areas. So in a funny way, the James Webb Space Telescope and the eye are the same thing. Those are both optics that are aimed at creating images. The process and the task for building correction for a telescope mirror and the process of fabricating it and for correcting refractive error in the eye are really in some ways the same. We were tasked with building an instrument that could measure the errors in the early stages of fabrication of the mirrors and then uh, use that information to directly correct the, those, those mirror segments. The thing that I'm most proud of is that we've been able to improve the vision of so many people. Bottom line is, is I think there have been millions of LASIK procedures that have had a better result uh, as a result of our technology. The outcomes are something like 96% better than 2020 and 85% better than 2016. Uh, so people are now seeing better after LASIK than the best correction with contacts or glasses have ever been possible. The story of two passionate entrepreneurs and a program and technologies that have helped improve the vision of so many people and may give the world a better look at what lies beyond our own planet.